Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Royal Goose. Hi. Welcome to my show. This is my co-host, um, James Slickframe. Okay, so the, we could go back and get the lungs, nope. or we could just go back and get them all, like, near the very end. If we even want to go get them all. Yeah, for now, let's just continue on. We're gonna go into the bayou. Those, them gonna get you in the bayou. We're gonna lay down, I'm gonna get you some donuts. So I have one more, uh, story from that wedding to share, but I'll wait till after this cutscene. That's hot. You know what we also need to do? Hmm. We need to... Sync the audio. Yeah, we'll do that in a little bit. Here, I'm gonna read the letters as they come on the screen. <laughs> Just ready, give it. <gasps> You're gonna do Y, a T, a, a R, exclamation mark, uh, P, uh, H, a, a question mark, your. Okay, I think we're good. We can we can call that a sink, right? <laughs> dude, I always thought that dude looked weird. Razor beard? Yeah. Is that his name, Razor Beard? The Admirable. He looks like there a, are, I mean, Admiral Razor Beard. Ah, uh, he looks like a like a duck bill. Yeah, I know he does. Slurp, slurp. Oh, what? Only 999. Actually, it's funny. That lum is actually still in the game, but it's just hidden away in one of the later levels. Uh -huh. You can find it if you want to. Does he tell you like? No. Hey, I'm the one who got slurped up in my butt. No, nope, it just happens to. It just transported somewhere else. Oh. Yeah, you can win life force and power, and you have enough loves to go there. Oh boy, here, wait, Damn sync right. up the audio. Oh, oh shit, okay. <laughs> Let's sync up the audio. Two, one. Okay, we synced up the audio. Oh. One, two. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Fine, okay, whatever, I guess. Oh, okay, no okay. good. I love this level right here. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, this is basically like that time in Spyro when they said you want to adopt the dog and then they gave me a wolf instead. And I said, okay. And then it actually turned out it was a bear. And I found out his favorite food is dog food with syrup on it. But then I put a hot sauce in it once and we pooped out fire. And when I did that, I tried to clean it up with one of them, them shop vacuums. But then instead of suck, I turned on blow. So then it started blowing the fiery fox doo doo everywhere. And I was like, oh god. And then my house burned down, but it smelled so bad. Fire department said, we ain't gonna deal with that. We don't have enough insurance to smell that. And so then I got our nose plugs. And then actually, since they blocked their nose, they, they passed out because they forgot how to breathe out their nose. And then when they were in the ground, it blew up a new plant that came out of their ears because the dirt went in there. And then the worm came out of there. And the worm gave me a magic wand. And I waved it around. They said, well, uh, you get one wish. And I said, well, I wish I had dinner. And but I like spaghetti. And they said, you want pesto with that or you want the marinara? And I said, why not both? And then I found out it was so good. I opened up my restaurant and made that. So then I invited all them firefighters over there. Made enough money with my spaghetti with pesto and marinara to build a new house. And then that dog, he was actually just waiting for me the whole time. I brought him back there. And then I don't even know how the story started. But in the long run, now I'm a <laughs> successful business connoisseur of money and pasta this you understand is, this is why i keep elliot around he always comes up with brilliant stuff like this right yeah i'm bed. really smart <laughs> so are you uh are you excited for luigi's mansion 3 I, i'm kind of excited it's, kind it's, of? It, it's been getting good I, from what i've heard so far it's been getting pretty solid a pretty solid reception from the critics so Okay. I, I, I've, I've been hearing that it's it, it, it looks like it's going to be better than the one on 3DS, which I thought was kind of just eh. I didn't play that one. Yeah, it, it was okay. It was way more linear. Th this new one's going to be kind of linear, too. Yahoo! I mean, even the original Luigi's Mansion is, isn't, is like, a huge explorative game. You do go from, like, level to level. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's... it's the, people are saying really good things, like the animations are really good. It's super cartoony, and... Yeah, no, it's... it's uh, I'm excited that uh, some other characters are going to be it, like Peach and I think maybe Yoshi are going to make an appearance. What? It's about it's about you all, Luigi going with his friends to the to this hotel and he has to rescue them all and. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I think Yoshi that'll be pretty cool. Sick. I know at least Peach is going to be in it, so that's kind of cool. Hell yeah, it is. And once again, the end goal is to rescue Mario because it always is. <laughs> I'm trapped in a painting again! You know what the fuck are you? I'm going to set the fire to this whole oh, hotel! Oh, I wasn't looking. 
Hey, that was sick. Can you do it again? No. Okay. Um, okay, so I, I had one or two more uh, stories to share about my sister's wedding. Yeah, dog. So, uh, a few people, uh, after my sister went around and said all those nice things about her friends and family, yeah. I, uh, some people got to take turns to stand up and tell fun stories or... Yeah. Or, uh, like my cousin, she ended up, uh, reading a poem. Uh-huh. And uh, what what I ended up doing was telling a funny story about my sister when she was really little. Yeah. I stood up and I, I, I talked about how I was playing hide and seek with her once. Me and my cousin found her in the kitchen pantry, uh -huh. <laughs> just like lay, laying on the floor, and we were like, "Found you!" And she was like, "I'm not sis. I'm a box of cookies." <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up. And then she ended up hiding again, and this time we found her in the uh -huh. underneath the bathroom sink, and yeah. she said, "So." So, what is so? <laughs> SpongeBob. Everybody laughs super hard. My mom, my mom was very proud of me in that moment. She was like, "Oh my god, James, that was hilarious!" I'm like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> what? Um. What was hilarious? You know what was hilarious? No, I, I legitimately don't. I thought your sister said soap, soap. Yeah, she did. No, she. The way I told the story. Oh, sorry. I thought you. I thought you were saying in the story. Like, when you found your sister and she said, Soap, soap, your mom was like, No. That was hilarious. No, 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 no. I was like... At the wedding. But when she I was, said you were... I was like, what? Why yeah, are you yeah. hilarious when she's saying soap? Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I got it. It was cool as a... Uh, my, my sister and uh, her Sounds husband... Like it was a good, good wedding. It was a great wedding. She's awesome. They ended up having some of their friends from college yeah. at the wedding who, who were musicians. And they ended up playing... Cool. They ended up playing trumpet and all the... Hey, my name is James, and I'm John the motherfucking oh, yeah. How'd you have to get? Wow. Uh, well. Yeah, some of them are kind of cute. Uh, one of them actually brought a trumpet and on and onto the dance floor, and while she danced, she just played the trumpet along with the band. Nice. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But, you know, it was awesome to see everybody. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Cody was a little bit of a shitter. Uh... I, I ended up bringing him, and uh, he has a cousin, you know, quote unquote cousin named Guapo. Why, why are you being such a shitter, boy? Guapo is a. Uh, I can't remember his breed, but he he looks a lot like Cody. He's just smaller, a little small okay. white lap dog, and uh, uh -huh. whenever they get together, they end up getting into pissing contests with each other. <laughs> what? Yeah, they do. They they go out. We let them outside. Yeah. And, they, whenever one of them starts to pee uh -huh. and like lift up their leg, yeah. the, the other one will just stick their head right underneath where they're pissing and be like, oh, you're going to piss on my face? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, my head is right here. Oh, it would be a shame if someone were to pee right now. They're, they're just idiots. They just get... I don't know what it is. Like, Cody never does that with any other dogs but Guapo and... <laughs> So, um, Ooh, I really hope you don't pee right now and my head is under you crash. I, I ended up staying at this campsite that was like, uh, I don't know, half a mile away from the cabin yeah. where the wedding was. and uh, Oh uh, my god, dude. So uh, I, I stayed in a tent and yeah. my aunt and uncle ended up staying in a tent. And uh, Cody and Guapo, like idiots, they went around and they pissed all over their tent. <laughs> my aunt was very mad about that. She's like, God damn it! Freaking God! Freaking die! Yeah, so it, it was Dude, nice. That's and funny, man. I we ended up leaving them at the campsite the entire time so we could just relax at the wedding and have fun. But yeah, but and they were like, "Ooh, unsupervised!" Mm -hmm. Trying to pee all over each other. Yeah, my, my aunt was pretty pissed off, and she she I generally don't see her pissed off all the time, so yeah, it was the, like Damn. the dogs were pissed off too, pissed off all on each other. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh uh, my god! You press the red button. Yeah, my mom actually ended up ordering a Taco Del Mar buffet for nice. me. That was freaking sweet. At the wedding? Yeah, at the wedding. Dude, okay, I was, I was just talking about that. I was like, okay, because uh, some some people I know are getting married. Or something. It came up in conversation. I was just like, dude, people spend so much money on weddings and like catering and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, dude. Doug, you could just get like Qdoba to cater your wedding and mm -hmm. like it wouldn't be cheap, but it would be way fucking cheaper than getting some fancy ass, you know, crazy catering. Like... Fucking Kido was amazing, dog. Well, also my, uh, so my 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 grandma and aunts were there. They they helped with some of the cooking too. So okay. that that was really. Was it a really big wedding? Yeah, it, it was pretty big. Okay. It was pretty awesome. Sweet. Yeah, that's in in my memory of the few weddings I've ever been to. That one is now my favorite. That's great. Yeah. Was so, this one of the only ones you've been to, like your family though? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd say like 
like going to a wedding for someone who's in your family is always more fun than going to some like Joe Schmo's wedding where it's like, cool, I don't give a shit about any of this. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm gonna get oh, you. Oh, your oh, friend. Oh, like, fuck me. Oh, baby. Yeah, well, murder. It's your friend or, uh, you know, someone you know. But that's awesome. Glad to hear that. You know what else you like to hear? Hmm. Next time on fucking Royal Goose. Already? Bye-bye. Man. Oh, God.